What's up, Fox Army? It's me, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update an Android tablet that is modded or rooted. So, basically, what you will be doing is flashing a bunch of stock images, and I'm going to be using this Shield tablet, but you can use any other device, and this will not wipe your device, even though I do say it will in the, um, like, later in the tutorial. So, what you want to do is just get whatever tablet you're using, um... And if you need to update it and it's rooted, go ahead and go to the settings. And, oh, oops, not that. So go to your settings. And then, as you can see, if you go to the About tablet, normally it will, like, if your system has an update and you're already rooted, it'll have, like, your system has an update. You'll try to update and you'll get error code 7 in the um, recovery image. And I'll post a picture of what that looks like, the error code 7 and a bunch of junk about stuff. Anyway, so yeah, basically what you want to do is go into the settings and then go to the developer options tab. Once you're in the developer options tab, you want to go to, where is it, USB debugging. Just, it'll normally be off, so turn this on, and it'll ask if you want to allow USB debugging, so click OK. And once that's done, um, unplug the device and plug it back in again. You may have to do this, you may not. Um, and eventually when you start the file that I have, it'll ask if you want to allow USB debugging on the computer, and you just want to tick on yes. So, yeah, basically that's all you need to do. So just head on to your PC, and download the file in the description, and I'll explain what to do next. And like I said, this will work for really any Android tablet. I explain how to do that at the towards the end of the video. But uh, yeah, guys, see you on the PC. Okay, so once you have enabled the USB debugging on the tablet, head over to your PC, plug in the shield, and go to the link in the description, which should take you to... Oh, get out of the way, Naruto. What are you doing here? Which should take you to, um, this Fox Shooter for Shield 2.5 file. So, let me just, um, you, what you want to do is click this big green download button. It's 759 megabytes, which is kind of a big file, but that's because we've got a lot of stuff in it. So just download that file, and then go to your downloads folder, and you should have this Foxtrot River Shield 2.5.zip. Right click on that, go to Extract All. Then go to Extract. I'm not going to do it because I already have the file. So once you've extracted it, you should have this Foxtrot River Shield folder. Open that up, and then I'm not going to go over driver installation. I've already covered that in the previous tutorial where I showed you how to root the tablet. So yeah, and also this file is specific to the shield. If you're going to be rooting a different, or I mean, updating a different device since you're already rooted, um, then I'll show you how to do that at the end. Like I'll show you how it works. I won't show you every device because that's impossible. Anyway, open up Fox Reader for Shield, and then go all the way down to update.bat, the last file on there. So just do that, and it says. If you're in and can't get in, I meant to say OTA, I'll, s I'll solve your problem. This will unroot, but you can easily reroute. This will wipe the device, so back up important stuff. If you have important stuff, use like a, a tool like Titanium Backup or Hollow Backup. I'll put links to those in the description to back up your device. Uh, you should see your device's serial number, um, which is right here. If you don't, check the driver, because there may be some driver issues. P please go to the previous tutorial for that. And if it says unauthorized next to it, go on the shield and press, like, OK or Yes or whatever it says. So anyway, just press Enter or whatever you want. The device is now going to the bootloader. This is where the magic happens. Okay, so next. Once it's in the bootloader, select Fast Boot Protocol using power volume buttons. So I'll be right back. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so just like in the last video, all we need to do in the bootloader um, right now is we're going to want to go press the volume down button right here. So just press volume down and then press the power button and it'll turn off for about a second and then bam. So I'll see you guys back on the PC and basically all we did was enable fast boot. So be right back. Alright, so once you've done the little fast boot protocol thingy, um, yeah, you're you should see your device's serial number, or wait, you, you wouldn't, but anyway, <sighs> um, if not, fix the driver, ready to flash, alright, now we're gonna flash dock recovery, uh, boot, blob, and database, so just press Y for yes, because we are ready, this isn't gonna wipe your device, so, yeah, it's nice, alright, 
Blah blah, flashing recovery. All this went okay, it looks like. None of them failed. Alright, everything is going well. Flash the blob. Alright. Alright, so now that that's all done, now we can get the unrooting process. Now we can get to the unrooting process. Ready to flash the system image? This will wipe the device. So just press the Y for yes again because, well, if you want to turn back now, you can. Like if you don't want to get updates, but I want to get updates. So just press Y for yes. Enter. Alright, here we go. I'll flush the update system dot image, which should let me get OTAs. So just press that. Target reported max download. You don't have to worry about any of this. Flashing system image. This might take a minute. So yeah, this will take about a minute. So yeah, in a minute I'll show you guys how to do all of this for an uh, an a regular Android device like it's not the Shield tablet like a Nexus or something. Um, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna be able to show it because I don't have one, but I'll just explain how this works. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Sending system, bunch of kilobytes. This is about one gigabyte file, so, yeah. Okay, that worked over. Erasing system, oh, okay, well, it just completely erased my existing system, it should do that for you. Alright, sending sparse system. I'll be right back when this is finished, guys. Well, finally, that's over. That took a, about a minute, so... Well, finally, that's over. The device should reboot, and you'll be... You'll be... Have the shield will be able to receive OTA updates. Yeah, lacking in the grammar department there. I'll fix that. Um, you can reroot it any time by running the root me file, and you can um, rerun this file if you need to again. Thanks for using, and I hope this helped. Alright, so now that we're done with that, the shield cube should be completely back to stock, and uh, I will be back on the shield, I guess. So yeah, um, and the device will be able to receive OTA updates. So, just keep that in mind. Even though we flashed a previous version, every time you need to get an OTA update because of whatever, like you're rooted or you have a custom ROM or whatever, just follow the, like, just run that file. Just once, and it should reboot the device, and you might see some kind of, like, updating Android or something on there, I don't know. So we'll just wait for it to reboot, which shouldn't take it long. Come on, shield. Er. Okay, here we go. NVIDIA! So now the shield is rebooting, and there's a nail. I don't know if it's going to say anything, like, about uh, updates to Android, but hopefully it doesn't. And we should just be able to get OTAs as we need them. If you're on Shield version 2.1 or something below 2.2 or whatever they have now, um, this will basically update it for you. So you won't have to get the o so you won't have to do the OTA process until you have another OTA. Yep, here we go. This is about Android is upgrading. Blah blah. Packages about something or something. So this will take it a minute, so I guess I will be back. Actually, yeah, I'll be back. Alright, so we're almost done with this. After we rebooted the tablet, it has this whole um, optimizing app or whatever Android is upgrading. We are almost done. I don't know what kind of app it's optimizing or what it's doing, but it does this whenever you flash an image. So it's almost done, and it should just reboot normally after this last one is done. There's an ocarina. Alright, here we go. So, let's see, is it all good? Hey, our stuff wasn't wiped. Oh, I thought our stuff would be wiped. Never mind, let me just make sure we don't have to worry about OTAs if we go here. And then, accessibility, printing, where is it? Uh, oh yeah, about tablet, system updates. 
and your system is up to date. So woohoo, we did it guys. So that's um, basically how you do it on the Shield tablet. And um, I thought our stuff would be wiped, but apparently it wasn't. I guess that only happens when you um, do the bootloader. So yeah, it's it's all working fine and dandy. So um, I will, for those of you guys who are not going to watch how you do it on other tablets, uh, till next time you awesome Fox Army, for these of you guys who are going to stick around to see how you do it on other tablets, just uh, keep watching. Be right back. Okay, so the tablet, the Shield tablet was able to update, but what if you're not on the Shield tablet? Like, you're on another device and you don't care about the Shield tablet because you're my number one princess in the whole world. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to update any other Android device that's not a Shield tablet or whatever your tablet may be. So just open up Google Chrome and what's a random Android tablet? Um, Samsung Galaxy Tab 4. I don't know, just random Android tablet, doesn't really matter. So, what you want to do, just search for whatever tablet you have. Um, actually, search for that, and you want to search for Stock Realm. And it will come up with something, it'll have it somewhere, yeah, I, I don't know exactly where, but yeah, you just want to search for that. And someone will have it eventually, like, you, you'll you find this tablet, you'll find whatever stock ROM you're looking for, stock ROMs. If you're on a Kindle or something, and it's rooted, you can find all the images on Amazon's website, so you just want to scroll down until you see discontinued. Well, that's, that's embarrassing. So, I don't know where these are, I'm not going to spend forever looking for those, but let's just go with an easy one. I'll go with Nexus 9... Stock ROM. So just search for that and factory images for Nexus devices. Here we go. This is why Google's so awesome. It just has everything you need right there. So you just want to find that's flashing instructions. How to system image, blah blah. So you should you should be able to find any yeah, here we go. So we've got all these. You've even got all the versions. So yeah. If you need um one more specific tablet, you can just search for, or if you need another specific ROM for whatever, just search for any tab, followed by ROM, and you should be able to find it pretty easy. So, um, this has been my tutorial on how to update an Android device that has already been rooted. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, please like the video, comment, um, if you have any questions, or if you just enjoy the video and you want to comment. And, um, subscribe to my channel, because I will be doing more Android stuff, probably. But, uh, till next time, y'all.